I'm going to briefly introduce scheduling. We've been talking a lot about memory. What are the two most important resources the operating system tries to provide an illusion of sharing to processes? I worded that kind of strangely, but I think you've got an answer any. Yeah, so there's memory and time. And we've mostly been talking about memory for the last few classes and, and earlier today. Scheduling is all about sharing time. Right? We're trying to share the time of the CPU among the process. We talked back in class four about the kernel timer interrupt. Our model for sharing the CPU is we've got some supervisor, sets an alarm clock, it allows some process to run, and then at some point the alarm clock goes up, we get an interrupt that goes back to the supervisor, and the supervisor decides what to do next. We have two main decisions every time the supervisor wakes up. It has to decide whose turn it is to run next. So it's deciding whether to run A or B or any other process. And it also has to decide how long to set the alarm clock. The kernel timer interrupt is this, the standard time. Maybe that's the minimum time it can set it for. It doesn't have to always set it for that same time. The main thing we're going to focus on is how does it pick which program to run next. And that program that it picks will get to run until the next kernel timer interrupt goes off. It's up to the kernel to decide whether to switch to some other program or let that one run for longer. Let's get more to a concrete scheduling thing. Traffic lights are really schedulers. So what is the resource they're trying to share? Yes. The road? OK. Is it the whole road? Yeah, it's really the intersection. The only shared resource is this. Right? This is the shared resource. It's kind of like a CPU that only one direction of traffic should be in there at the same time, or one instruction going through it at the same time. If we have two going at the same time, that is bad. How well do the traffic lights, say, on Route 29 do at sharing the resource, which is all the intersections along that road? So what are, the, what are the metrics we should be asking about in terms of answering this question? So what are our goals in sharing a resource? What should our goal be in sharing a resource? There are two big goals. So what do we want when we share a resource? Yes. Complete as fast as they can in an equal manner. That sounds like at least two goals. One was the suggestion of equal or fair. So one goal our scheduler might have is, is to use that resource fairly. What's another goal? So what do we really want to avoid? Yeah. Yeah, so we don't want to waste things. We want to, to maximize the value of the resource. We want to get the, the maximum value for it. Those are our two main goals. Which one of those do traffic lights do well? Yeah, traffic lights are all about fairness. They do fairness pretty well. I guess you can decide if you know, you're on the little road and the big road gets the light for too long whether they're fair or not, but they're certainly designed all around fairness. How well do they do on the don't waste? How efficiently do they use that, that intersection resource? If you were optimizing don't waste, would the light ever change between, say, 4 PM and 6 PM? So the lights on the main road would be green the entire time. If your goal is to not waste the resource, the light should never change while there's traffic coming. You should never have sort of a, a backlog of traffic that you turn the light red on. Because switching is really expensive. Switching is expensive in traffic light. It's certainly expensive in operating systems as well. If your goal is to not waste, you want to switch as little as possible. The only time you want to switch is if the direction or the program or the process, whatever is currently using the resource, doesn't have anything useful to do. So if a direction or traffic is moving well, the traffic light should never switch if you want to maximize resource utilization. People would yell at their city councilors or their congresspeople or whoever is responsible for traffic lights if you had to sit for three hours for the right light to turn green because you came from the little road and the big road has traffic for the next three hours. So it's really designed more around fairness than using a resource well. So I should wrap up for today, and we will get more into scheduling next class.